Hi everybody, it's Janet with Sugar Shine Designs and welcome to my project today. It's wedding season and in honor of that I've made a beautiful wedding card using Cottage Cuts dies. So let's take a look at the elements of this card. First I have the center die cut which is this beautiful wedding couple. Then I've got the love thing going across and some bling bling here just to add the special touch. Inside I have the sentiment and in addition to that I've used this really pretty intricate balloon die which I thought went nicely with the whole card. So let's take a look at how this card goes together. Here I have multiple pieces for the main part of the card and for the front. So I'm going to start by talking about the card base where everything begins. This is a simple 5x5 five five base so 10 by 5 folded in half. Then on top of that I'm going to put this black ornately embossed piece of paper which was 4 and 3 quarters by 4 and 3 quarters square. I use this Derice embossing folder for it. It does not have a name on it, but it certainly has a pretty ornate pattern to it, which is perfect for a wedding. Next, on top of this, I'll be placing the die cut, which is from the Cottage Cuts, and it's called Bride and Groom, and it's just gorgeous with its detail. And I'm using this holographic coordinations paper. I've applied to the back of this some Stick It double-sided adhesive sheet, and that will allow me to peel it clean and stick it to my card when I'm done. Makes it a lot easier. Next is this adorable die cut called Tweet Love and I'll cut the love part only out of this pink paper which is a really nice contrast I think the pink, the black, and the white holographic. But anyway I've applied some double-sided stick it adhesive to this as well and I'm not going to be using the little birds because they're too big for my project but I will be definitely using that love thing which is really pretty. So I'm going to go cut these pieces for you and then I'll be right back. Okay, so here's this beautiful bride and groom die. I want to take out that last little bow tie uh, cut out there so that the black shows through. I think that adds a nice touch. And this lacy beautiful die is really what I love about cottage cuts. They have such nice details in everything that they make. Now here's my base again and on top of that the black mat. And then as I showed you before, the bride and groomer is going to go about the middle with this gorgeous love sentiment over the top. It's not just beautiful. It just fits so perfectly this uh, wedding theme and this ornate dress. Now to lift that whole thing up, I've got some fun foam here and I've coated both sides with some double-sided stick it adhesive. And then that'll make it really easy to put together. All right, so here we are, again, ready to start putting the pieces on the front of this card. Now, because I used the double-sided stick and adhesive, I can just peel this back a little bit and pull all of the uh, this protective sheet off of the die cut. And there's just a perfect coating of the stick and adhesive there. And then I can place that, like I said, in about the center of this card mat. And once I've got it where I want, I'll just press it down. And the beauty of this is when you have such, uh, you know, delicate details, you don't have to be messing around with liquid glue or anything else. It is stuck there and uh, you did, it just saves a lot of time to use that stick of adhesive. Now this adhesive, of course, is made for die cutting, so that's the other great thing. It's very thin, doesn't cause problems with cutting, and it's become my new best friend when using die cuts, especially these very intricate or small cuts with lots of tiny uh, pieces. And although this isn't a tiny piece, the script itself is fairly thin, as well as some of these pieces in that wedding couple die down at the dress area. So it just simplifies everything. And now that I've pulled all the adhesive backing paper on, it's just a matter of trying to figure out where I want to put this love sentiment. Uh, I do want it a little angled, but I don't know exactly where I want it. That seems pretty good right there, but of course i got to try a little lower, which I didn't like, up a little higher. Yeah, and that's where I'm going to put it. That way it's not in the way of the dress, and I do, not, do want to make sure that all the pieces of that dress really show, because that's the highlight of that die cut. 
right, so now I can place this on top of my base. And uh, I'm going to take this fun foam that I showed you earlier that I've applied the double-sided stick it adhesive to, and I'm going to be able to, to put it right on the back of my base there, and we'll start by pulling off the adhesive backing. And you'll see that there's a little piece right here, right there, that didn't stick. But that's okay because, you know, the majority of this square did stick, did get the stick it adhesive, so it'll be fine. Now this square is three and three quarters by three and three quarters square. Then I can peel off the top backing paper here. And once that's done, it's a simple matter of putting it on the card base. Once again, there were a few pieces or areas you can see there that didn't get the adhesive, but I think that's just because it doesn't stick, you know, to the foam quite as well as it does to paper. I never really noticed that on the paper applications. But since this is a, a large area and most of it got the adhesive, it's not a problem. All right, so there we are. We've got the majority of this card front done. Uh, when I come back, I'll show you a little more that I did to finish it off. So, of course, I have to add a little bit of bling, and this is a beautiful Maggie Home set of sequins. There's lots of different things in it, but one is a small package of light pink and dark pink flower sequins. And the, the dark pink, of course, just matched this card as about as perfect as you can get. So, I have added three of these to the card, and as we know, it's better to use an uneven number of things like three versus four because for some reason the human brain just finds that more appealing. Uh, who knows why, but that, that's a, a well-known decorator or designer's trick is to use that uneven number of things. So while I'm putting this together, I want to tell you about some great news I heard from Cottage Cuts this week. They've informed the design team that they are issuing two new releases in the month of June. The first is a 24-piece wedding release. So 24 new dies being added to the store related to weddings. And it's really going to be quite a release. we got to look at the cut sheets so that we could choose what we wanted to work with. And there's a wide variety of traditional to whimsical and everything in between. I think you're going to very much like this new set. And of course, you'll see the design team do all kinds of things with them this month, and for, probably for the next coming month. The second new release coming in June are nesting shapes. There's 17 new nested shape die sets coming out with this release. So uh, these have edgings on them that are different from the straight edges. There's scallops, eyelets, doilies, and then there's some wacky stitched shapes, which are really cute. So look for them. They're going to be coming soon, and you'll see the design team create some great stuff. All right, so I've applied now the three sequins as well as the white gems, and this finishes off the card front. We can move on now to the inside. To create the inside of this card, I used the largest square in the nested stitch square set, and I also used this cottage cut die of the balloons, and it's called balloon bouquet. It's really pretty and it has that open lacy look that matches the couple on the front of the card. So because of that I cut this balloon die cut out of that holographic paper as well and that will leave plenty of room to write a message to the couple in that remaining space. I applied ATG adhesive to the back of this square and after I've got it in place just press it down and so that it sticks well. And now I can place the balloon bouquet and previously to cutting this, I did use the stick it adhesive sheets as well. So now instead of trying to get glue on all these little tiny areas and not have it show through when I press it down, and just avoid all that mess by simply peeling back the backing paper to reveal the sticky adhesive. And that backing paper shows you how nicely it cuts out along with the dye and the paper. So anyway, now it's perfectly ready to apply to the inside of the card. All I need to do is figure out my placement like that and press it down and voila, it is complete. I'll bring this up closer to the camera so you can see it a little better. I know the white on white doesn't really show that well on camera, 
but it does match the bride and groom, and that's why I chose it. In person, it's a very nice, elegant effect. Thanks for joining me as I completed this project today. I really enjoyed having you. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you soon, but until then, keep crafting. Bye.